I'm a musician playing in bands. I have my own band and I play with other people as well. And I bus sort of half and half the time, I think. So, yeah, so I'm a half bus. <laughs> I started busking like a few years ago. Yeah, I did it for a long time. I invited him to join, he joined, and yeah, now we work together. Uh, I'm a songwriter, I have my own band, but it's really hard to make money that way, so busking is, is a job, a legal job as a musician. <laughs> The license I've got now to play in the underground, I got from the beginning of the busking scheme when they started it. Um, they gave a chance to all the people who were illegally busking at the time to have a, a, um, a license. And uh, they um, did an audition, and I passed the audition and got the license, and it's renewed every year. I applied uh, for it as you know when I applied for any other jobs in London. Before it was legalised, it was a um, a real dog eat dog situation, and sometimes it was very unpleasant, and there was some real nastiness from uh, other buskers. I remember one guy used to go to Piccadilly Circus, which is is now one of the favourite spots and always was then too. And this great big uh, guy was about seven foot tall. Um, he looked like Hagrid from Harry Potter, and he used to play a, a wooden flute. And he just used to ba basically turn up to the pitch and he threatened to hit you with the flute unless you moved away. <laughs> so basically, there wasn't a lot you could say to that guy, you know, so you just had to, okay. Because <laughs> it's a legal system, so you actually have to book your spots. It's not a casual thing that you just decide to go basking today. Like, you have everything planned two weeks ahead of time. It's a proper system, so uh, there is a roster everyone is actually scheduled in, so there's no way you can actually overlap. Why would you like, want to bus in the underground? Everyone's commuting, they're going places. Exactly, everyone's yeah. going places, everyone's walking, everyone's got places to be, so they're not really going to stop. They, they, they don't make that much, they don't make too much money. There's more money out here on the street. People here, they're, they're in their leisure time, you know what I mean? They're not busy and commuting and having places to go. They're, you know what I mean? They're coming here to, to spend time and go around the shops. They don't mind stopping for a minute to watch a show, you know what I mean? On the underground, exactly. everyone's busy. They're on the tube. They, they go in places. They're going to this station, that station. They haven't got time to stop and watch a show for 10 minutes. The, the good thing about the tube, I guess, there is um, lots going on and there are lots of people passing through. So there is a constant flow of people, depending on the stations, you know, it changes, it varies as well. But surely that would get so boring, to stay in the same spot, that's, that's yeah, your allocated exactly. spot, you this only have to bus there. Yeah, this you can go anywhere. Yeah, we, have, we haven't got a license, but it's like we've got more, we've got more yeah. chances to do other things, we can go wherever we want. Well, it's very varied, uh, every day is different, um, you know, some days you meet really nice people and people come up and chat to you and... Uh, other days you might have some problem with somebody trying to steal your money, so it's very, very... You know, there are times where people aren't really that happy, I guess, to, to hear music because they're going to work or they can be in a bad mood, so you're just there like, I don't know, wallpaper for them. You know? I think it depends very much on your act. There are people who busk out in Covent Garden, for example, who, who wouldn't really, it wouldn't work in the, uh, in the underground. It's a passing crowd, so that's why music really works best. Yeah, we always get moved on a lot, um, especially by the council. They like to come all the time, move us down one end, then we busk there, then they move us from the other end. And then, yeah, it's just, it's annoying, but it happens. You don't have a good day every day, you know. You have some days where you, you won't make much money, you don't know why. And there's no real rhyme or reason to it sometimes, you know. Sometimes you just go out and you think, these pitches are not great today, they're not great spots, but you make good money. And then another day you have great spots and you don't make good money. Thank you. Uh, 
we bus because it's um, a, a fun way to engage with the audience and to make money. Make money for a living, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a good way to publicize yourself as a musician and, and the music, you know, you write or play. If you interact with the crowd, letting them know that we're doing it for them and for us at the same time. And so you can play your own songs and actually make money playing your own songs in the underground, which is fantastic, you know. For, for composers like myself, it's brilliant. You know? uh, buskers are really an essential part of our culture. I say in London without buskers, it'd just be a city. You know what I mean? Like it's, it kind of like brings the cultural side out of it. When you hear a sound and then you can immediately put the face to it. And that talent, where else can you find this sort of talent free?